This is crazy. This is about as big as a longleaf pine gets. I mean, I'm 6'1", and I can't even come close to fitting my arms around this tree. It's just unbelievable. Long before this road was built, long before this fence was put in, this tree was growing. It's, it's gotta be three, 400 years old. And one of the key features of longleaf pine is its adaptation to fire. And the best example of that is its bark. So as we look at the bark, we see that it's, it's so flaky. Look at this, it's just coming off in pieces. And the reason that happens is that fire, when it burns at this tree, it might burn off this piece, might burn off this piece, and you know what? It might even burn off this piece. But the thing is that that's just the bark. The core of the tree is not affected by the fire, really. If anything, the tree benefits because it clears all this competing vegetation away and allows the tree to grow. So this tree is perfectly healthy. I mean, it's still growing, still producing cones, and I'll bet it's been burned. I mean, these ecosystems burn every two, three, maybe up to five years, but that's a lot of fires for a tree that's 400 years old or so. So it's, it's just, it's like a statue. It, it withstands all the different storms and fires and hurricanes and everything. I mean, it's more than just a tree, it's a story. This tree tells us a story about the habitat that it lives within. I just can't get over how truly incredible and truly awe-inspiring a longleaf pine like this is. I mean, you just don't see trees like this uh, very many places these days. It's just, it's a sight to behold. Um, makes me <laughs> fall in love with longleaf pine ecosystems all over again. Wild Wander is made possible by the generous support of organizations that believe in the importance of the stories we tell. If your organization would like to talk about a partnership opportunity, contact us at info at macroscopepictures.com.